Hello there, class. Uh, welcome to today's edition of, of Movie Continuity to Member for the Future. Uh, this is a really short list I'm going to be going through here today. So, um, if you more or less make in your movie some big major cha change that you don't think will matter because it's the end of the series. No one's going to care about it. It's the end of their story. Um, make sure to remember that because you will never know what. When he will come back, whether it is your decision or someone else. So just make sure you remember that. Because Lord knows, <laughs> the fans will remember that. That very specifically for you when years come by later. Uh, that should be it for today's class. Um, next time we'll be, we will be covering how to well manage a giant major crossover and building an entirely alternate world from your original story. The following material is owned by the respective rights holders. In this episode's ca case, the rights are held by Toei Bank. Please support the official release in any means necessary, if possible. Hey there, welcome to another Ramblings. This time we'll be talking about the movies that premiered the uh, Wizards mo movies, which include Common Ray, their Wizard Cross 4, say Movie War Ultimate, um, and this is a mouthful. Common Rider Cross Super Sentai Cross Space Sheriff Superhero Tyson Z, and finally the summer movie Common Rider Wizard Wizard in Wonderland Wonderland. God, I can't. What is wrong with me? Anyways. Common Rider Wizard in Magic Plan. I was sort of right. Anywho, let's start with the first topic of the day, Ultimate. It's... It's alright. It's fine. It's... Pa passable. So, so, we open more or less with the Phantoms from the main series having captured a bunch of humans and giving them over to, to these mo monsters that are a show throw nation of more three series reference. <laughs> Yeah, this movie for some reason has a whole bunch of references to a lot of Shoto Ishinomo. Mori's old classic works when he was alive. The main villains are are in reference to a to a trio of heroes called the Akumizer Free. Forze has a reference to Inazu Man and Wizard feature features uh, part of my French here. La Belle Fille Masque Portrait. Uh, anywho, they were apparently kidnapped these people. He bought for some kind of ritual, and... Anywho, the Akumizers reveal their plan to more or less send humanity down down on the ground as vengeance for, for what happened. Them, whether or not this is this is a take that, that if the series didn't perform well, I don't know, I have not seen Akumizer or heard much about it, and more or less they time travel five years in the future to... Let's carry on. In a plane. There. That's where four days for portion starts out five years after the initial series and and then everyone surprisingly well off off for five years in the future Gentro has somehow become a te teacher even though he was not particularly that smart you can astronaut not can go a science test his Jacob reporter oh shooting a football ball star Rugby, American football. Ball star Tomoko has been writing no, no, it's me with star and and fine. Labor you say has more or less been working with and ball who more or less in the beginning. Getting his more or less stopping a group of of drug dealers. Drug dealers is that what I want to call them? Smugglers. Anywho, Yentaro's initial work for school mall. Yentaro faces one of his early, the early issues of teachers. Identifying with the, the youth. Specifically, the, the outsiders. When a bunch of, bunch of outsiders that, that declare themselves neo-humans decide to more. Let's begin. Decide to more. Let's take revenge on humanity for more. Let's turn their back. Um, as a result, as, as a result, 
Zelda began to run away small as we regrouped the team alongside the new student who literally couldn't. Who literally doesn't do much. And to solve this problem, more or less get them to under understand the true power of friendship. Ship. So. So. This portion's problem is, despite more or less being at the same time as the other one, is that it feels so long, and that's the issue with the pacing. After starting out with a really honestly great out of suit fight, seeing the pace just slows to a crawl, which includes us far too long for its own good chase sequence between Gantaro and the main and the main leader of the of these neo humans. I, I've been calling them out. All right, neo humans. Yeah, knee. Neo humans, which feels. Feels far longer than it should. Should be. And that more or less feels. And more. It kind of more or less feels like an issue. After that, we're just quickly reintroduced to the rest of the cast to again. Have pretty impressive jobs despite the five year gap. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just doing my recording while you're down there. So, yeah, I get that five years, the body probably doesn't change much, and that's why they chose it, but, um, I don't think astronauts are merely in space after five years. I don't buy that. And, and, and you want to explain to me how a person who, whose highest score was 50 on tests somehow managed to become a teacher? I could buy some of the other, other jobs, like fashion model or reporter and the, and the like, but it's those two that specifically irk me. And I guess you say, but it makes sense seeing as how as he had likely been working, working with groups and was able to get a cozy draw. Draw. Yeah. I do have to say I like this castle. Well, I didn't watch for for it before I watched this, which you can more or less consider a spoiler, not. But at even even for that, this cast really gelled well. Like this felt like a group of fr friends who would hang out. Together. Yeah, they seem like they have their problems, their quirks, and their ish issues, but they get along really well. And after watching it, I feel like I enjoy this cast a lot more because I've seen them grow. It also helps that they, the film gives the, everyone a chance to shine and be kind of awesome during the climactic fight against the Neo-Humans and the main the villain of the portion, the Hercules, Lee Zodiart. Yeah, Hercules. Hercules, but it kind of just peters. Here's that. Don't get me wrong. I like how Gensfo just throws away his tension. His tension device. It it makes sense. Now, so the new recruit more or less less acts like the in which are just you know monsters. They've just got to be up and they shouldn't be understood. But that those weren't the things Gensfo did. Yes, he fought them, but that was to more or less cool them down after they had gone totally berserk. He was about helping people come to grips with themselves and be better people. But what he does is the suit does not make him a writer. Now, how he acts is... Too bad the film shoots itself in the foot remembering that, oh yeah, we have a, a large-scale battle to shoot at, at this. He's going to need his driver again. Which we do. Let's just have him pick up. Take up the dryer from his past. So to fix that issue. Issue. And duh. so yeah, I mentioned that more or less Inazu Man plays a part in in Forze's portion. Poorly. Really. He's the leader of the sub humans who gets a basic cigar back back here. Rhythm and just just shows up at the end to basically upstage the the rest of the, the cast and feet. Feet the Hercules Zodiac. It's rather anticlimactic and more all things considered and more or less just feels like it's there for reasons. Oh yeah, not a Shiko shows not not a not a Shiko so shows up. Yay. It's fine. It's not the best finale the series could have go done, but it could have been worse. It could have been worse. Wizards po Wizards Portion which takes place in the press. Present focuses on him going to res rescue the people that were kidnapped by the Phantoms, who more or less apparently turn out to be the exact same ki kids who grow up being part part of the Neo Human fa faction. 
Factor who have been trapped in this in the nuke person's person's own own mind world. I forget that in this mind world she is that other show to our nation more reference point thing. Now I will give Wizard's portion of this is that that she is better intertwined in the story and that she is part of it from the get go and she is the folk focus. Focus, it's a very generic focus of needing to let go of the past and live for the f future, but I didn't come here to watch a film about about a, about an old character. I came to watch a common writer movie. These are nice, but I would have wished that they had like their own episode or special dedicated to them. This feels like it's just hand fisting an attempt to more or less start up a, a potential movie revival or or something. This doesn't feel well intertwined. Twined, and mostly a lot of the issues that Blizzard ha has shows up here. There's interesting things brought up, but they're never, never established. Established on. It's pretty, and despite the rather innocuous CGI chicken near the end, it's perfectly salvageable. It's a perfectly fine episode of the main. Main series just held back by its kind of generic setup. Setup of a person wanting to be special all the time. Time. And the Tyson. And the war portion is very much what you expect. Gentro shows, shows up to help with a ring. Ring just like the wizard rings the heck and joins in to help. And when he's getting his, his butt tanned. Him and soon enough, AG from Common Rider O shows up with more rings because. because magic. Like which summons. I mean, similar crumbs of, of both Double and O's riders who help fight. We then get an odd Mad Max reference where they ride, ride to rescue. Rescue Port. Water. Rain. Gentro and Hard to hop in to fight them. The free Aku Misers and defeat then they is say but wait the The evil the, me, the main leader survives and more or less attempts to drive the the thing into a volcano and fully destroy the earth. The two get CGI power power ups which look decently go. Okay, they fly down and destroy them. The base and proceed to make a, a giant mockery at a time at a time and space. Continue. Continue um we're hard to hand Hands again to back as driver, and the ring that he got from his future self because because it's because time travel is a giant headache and a half. Don't think about it; you'll really be better off than I do. This was again, it's fine. It is the most most average of these films I would have to say. It's not the worst, nor is at the same time the best. Best. It sits comfortably in the middle as the average. Both stories aren't particularly the greatest and are kind of hampered by the by sh by the by the reference by the character reference. Says it could have done better to just focus on the characters themselves rather than trying to more or less get some new new film reboot started. Speaking of film reboots, let's talk Space Sheriff Gone. <laughs> So, Kamen Rider had a cross. I'm not saying that whole thing again. The superhero Tyson Z is the follow up to the much acclaimed. like. divided. divisive. Let's. divisive super. previous superhero Tyson. A crossover between. between both Super Sentai and Kamen Rider that aired during the spring. the spring year of. year that Kamen Rider Force and Go Busters were, was aired. Airing and uh, it's not good. It is not good. The best I can describe it is just a bunch, bunch of action scenes tied together with the flimsiest excuse of a plot, plot I can think of, and that's kind of, kind of it. But hey, it's a sequel, you know. They might do things a lot better than, than what they did previously. And hey, look, they're writing more. This, this can only mean good things. <laughs> So, Tyson Z's plot kicks off when Wallace a bunch of stuff just starts teleporting, putting everywhere via magic, sir. Goes into rather bad location. 
investigations. As Harto is investigating this, he's approached by a man who who asks if he's wizard and proceeds to don a, a metal suit and begin attack attacking him. He's a member of the G Galaxy Federation police who has been sent out to not only eliminate Harto, but but Kosuke, hey, due to being magicians, since as they have been happening, as the magic circles have been happening all across the universe. Why they are nearly attacking ma magicians on Earth? It's up to you. But after seeing Harder risk his life to save some people, the space share, he proceeds to leave and ends up, up off the case because it and loses his power. Powers. Meanwhile, unrelated to all these things, Yoko Usami, me, the Yellow Buster from the aforementioned Go Buster series, is camping alongside her buddy, Raidu Sada Lettuce. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Well, when a little robot crashes nearby, and the group is, and they're soon attacked by a group who comes for the robot. But and surprise, surprise, shockers at the at the heart. That's because, as these crossover movies really cannot come up with unique villains, villains for these things. Now it's a race against time to destroy. To say the Earth before the GFP destroys the Earth because we need conflict of some kind and more. Unless I guess shocker more or less transporting stuff around one minute. Sure. Now you may have noticed from the uh, poster I have up on the left side of my fa face is that I never mentioned a certain dinosaur group. That's because they barely f feature in this plot. They show up er early and Daigo fights fights hard though because. Because, cause, and then they're interrupted by my guy, who more or less ends up being the other focal Sentai character for this spe special, alongside you, Goku, who's come back to Earth to, to help in its time of need. And this movie again is fine, just like the last one. One, it's not, not great. I kind of feel like the poster lies, considering the fact that 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 Kyoryu Red shows up prominently. Alongside both Wizard and Scavon, but both Haruto and the Cure users disappear from the majority of the film film at after the first third. Third. So instead the focus is primarily on Geki, Guy and Yoko and Nito because Because we really couldn't get any other common writers for this film. Film. I will give credit. This is arguably the best of the Tyson movies I've watched. It's not great or anything, it's Perfectly fine. Fine. Uh, uh, it has an actually coherent story, which I cannot give. Get the previous film. It's not as aggravating as the following film, and it's not a complete rehash of a previous film like, like the film after the next one. Yes, it's actually a film, film with a coherent story, a beginning, middle, and soupy end. But we'll get to the. That, but the big issue was the kind of forced conflict that comes with the Galax Galaxy Federation. And forced who are evil, who are more or less a, a conflict because they believe destroying the Earth is the best. And especially considering the fact that the previous, previous Gavin who shows up uh, seems kind of cold about it, considering that he did consider this place his own home. <laughs> that being said, I do think that the Gavin... that the Gavin memories are arguably the best part of the film. Oh, Gekki gets a decent... decent if a bit forced arc about... unless learning both sides of the sto story, and everyone has decent chemistry with Fude. Or Yoko's interaction with the robot are kind of heartwarming and harsh considering the in the end and more or less the romance that forms between Geki and Yaya yeah, is interesting. Arguably if you're a writer fan, this can be disappointing. The only real real returning act actors are from Wizard and and nothing. Thing else, there is some neat n continuity now with the previous film with Inazu Man showing up to help help Gento when when we get to that end portion. Motion, but it's nothing to that we haven't seen much of. And Space Shocker's here.
It exists. Just is there. They're just a, a kick bash for a bunch of vil villains to be here with no other real connection. Connection and just, hey look, it's that guy. That was cool. Oh, the action is mostly fine. Fine, it kind of evolves near the into just one elongated action piece and very little pot, plot. Plot and just some anticlimax for certain major villains where more or less, despite more or less struggling with certain things, I think the biggest sin here is Moonshutter, who, who despite being extremely dangerous, is quickly defeated by the cure you. Dude, is that there more or less just showing up right at the end? Oh. And then that's kind of lame. And going back to the whole magic thing, it's surprising that they didn't bring back the ma any Magi Rangers actor. They're seeing as how they were targeting magicians on Earth because of this. Yeah, it's been a few years. Using him back the entire team would have been difficult, but Magi Yellow's actor, actor was the sixth ranger from Go Buster, so it couldn't have been too hard to get him back for the role. He was gonna show up in the versus movie that I mean, was gonna come out soon. So, overall, it's fine. It's probably the best Tyson movie I've seen. Seen it's not just a bunch of action scenes like Tyson. It's not a giant F you like Tyson. Like Kamen Rider Tyson was, and it's not just a rehash of the pre Tyson from Let's Go Kamen Rider like GP3 is. Yes, it is the most definitive answer of an average crossover film. So, not gonna blow anyone away, nor is he really gonna more or less, less light the world on fire. And that leaves us with the le last of these films Wizard and Magic Land, and I kinda said a lot about what. What issues with, with Wizard are, are, it kind of is, is here. So, Kaomi is kidnapped. Shocking. Again, Haruto, to begin. And we see Haruto in, in media res trying to rescue her, but fails when the mysterious writer, writer activates a spell that transports them to an alternate world where everyone has magic. Everyone can turn into that awful looking mage, mage form. Nito most is a magical researcher and he doesn't have to worry about feeding Beating the Phantom Kai map. But it seems like a paradise, and you already more or less know it's not a paradise. People are disappearing for no good reason, and more or less this one kid. Kids, kids, mother, father, family disapp disappears too. Two, and more or less it's likely linked to the, to the ruler of this land, and more or less that leads hard to the more or less discover the truth about this world. It's interesting seeing the magic world, how more or less magic has changed how we use things, but it's just more wizard. It's flashy, it's nice looking and stuff, but it is fairly skin deep. The source word, despite having, again, one of the coolest suits eh, ever, ever, is bare, is just evil for evil's sake. We don't learn much about him, who he was before him, and why he did this specifically. Leon. That he's just doing it because... Because. It's also surprisingly Earth on shoving a whole lot. The first 30 minutes is so full of information from the world to the fact that... Come right... Writers, it just feels like... Like the movie ran out of things to, to do before it even finished. It's fine... I know I'm kind of skimming over this, but it is the most perfectly act. But just like with film, it's perfectly average. And that's the best way to describe these films. They're perfectly fine. They're not the best, nor are they the worst. Worst. You'll get your money's worth, or if you're more or less doing some evil, you know, pirating, you'll pirate you'll get your time's worth, I guess. But I kind of am left wanting more. More just like with Wizard. I wanted a better story. I wanted characters that were more fleshed out. I just wanted something more out of this than I got. So, yeah, that's that. Sorry for sort of the half dodging. This is a sign. Really can't think. These movies can sometimes just be difficult to talk about. That's all. Well, raise more videos, channel pay, page, click, 
click them, click the button below to more or less get notifications when I'm uploading something new. New and keep and comment. And it does help. See ya.